Hello, everybody. <laughs> We're here to talk about our new channel, Blossom Your Creativity. Yes. And we just wanted to give you an update where we are, um, talk about some of our goals and some challenges we've been facing since we started this. Uh, thought I had everything figured out, but hmm, YouTube said, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> So, um, currently, uh, there's 119 subscribers. Yay! Thank you! <laughs> so, we've surpassed one goal, which is uh, do better in uh, subscribers in the first year than the original channel. So. I had 28 followers in the first year. <laughs> and I want to make it even feel even worse for me. Five years, 250 followers. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're definitely going to do better than that. <laughs> so goal one, we met and within the not even 30 days. So we've done really good on that. So kudos to all of you who have um, came over and joined. We are ecstatic to have um, this rolling so fast. So um, that's great. Um, there's a total of 17 videos. I don't it says 17, but I'm trying to think, I don't, did I put 17 up? Well, we did a few uh, when we very first started the channel just oh, okay. to get in the habit. So they weren't all done in a month, but most of the ones we've really started doing has been in a month. Yeah. But we did an open invitation. We did a couple practice videos to get the feel of how to put one up. And uh, and, and I think we just basically get trying to get people to know that we're, that we're putting a new channel out. Yeah. But... We were having so many problems with the original channel. It, it stopped us from putting up when we were planning on it almost by two or three weeks. And we're still having major problems. My, my main channel, even though it looks great, there's lots of content up on it. There's just constantly problems with it every day. I mean. So I'm in the process of trying to figure out the workaround. And um, I'm a little stalled. I have a lot of other um, commitments um, for this month. So I know I keep, we keep saying this, but my, my hope is that, you know, the future looks a little bit brighter. And I'm hoping by maybe June or July, I will have figured out how to um, put up the videos the way I want to because I'm very, I'm, I'm, I don't want to say upset, but I'm very disappointed in the videos that I am putting up that I can't even put music to them and you know dead dead space in a video it's it doesn't do well and music really makes a video so it's really important that I figure out how to do this um, I like iMovie I like using iMovie although YouTube doesn't allow me to use iMovie's music so the workaround is either use different uh, my own sounds, and I've already got that figured out. I figured it out this morning, so we're going to have a conversation. Okay. Um, so that's one of my workarounds, so I can continue to use iMovie, or I have to use a whole new um, video editing software, which well, we may I don't just, really we, like that. We may have to go to YouTube. Uh, the only reason why I hate to do it, and this is for the honest goodness truth, I haven't tried, so it may not even be hard. iMovie is so easy to navigate. And so easy to put up, and I am so limited on what I can do. That's why I hate changing. I've actually stopped putting music on my videos because I have, I, like she says, we've, we've had nothing but problems. I'm taking nothing off the radio. I'm taking nothing off of a CD. It's all supposed to be fine from iMovie, and it's not. And it, and it has been fine for years. I don't know why all of a sudden it just, now copyright is just all over. So uh, to avoid copyrights... Um, we're just not going to put any music until we can you know, figure it out figure until we know we're safe to go ahead and add music um, So whatever whatever that is well um, only thing I can figure and I don't even know that this is the reason Maybe because I wasn't monetized I wasn't close to being monetized until this last year because I worked really hard to, Yeah, it's like a switch a switch and bait, you know, it's like oh yeah Go ahead and use all this music and then as soon as you get monetized you're like copyright copyright problem 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 <laughs> And also, on top of that, uh, I want you all to know, I answer every single comment you guys leave me, every one. And I have had about a fourth of my comments not going up as it is. And uh, I worked six hours leaving comments one day, and I called my daughter almost in tears. YouTube had stopped all my comments for the whole day. Every video. So every that's six hours she wasted. Yeah. 
you no. know, try it. Not, it wasn't wasted because she watched them, but her six hours that she wanted to show everyone that she was giving love and support, they didn't know because there was no comments. And on top of that, a fourth of my followers, I can't connect to. I, I really just cannot. And That's it's kind of strange too. And, and what's weird, like people like Glamour Ellen, I watch her videos every week and she watches mine. So it's not like we're not connected, we're watching each other. Every week, I cannot connect to her channel. She is not the only one. It's just I, I know Glamour Ellen so well. I always know her name. <laughs> but about a fourth of my followers, I can't connect. So sometimes you'll see me using uh, something like a clip from your video, and you'll see that I'm not following you. Yeah, I'm following you. YouTube won't let me follow you. And it just drops it, drops it. So if you don't leave me comments, I, don't need, I can't even come to your channel at all. I know you're even there because my, my YouTube channel is so messed up. And I've tried to clean it up. I've tried to straighten it out. Uh, Glamour said, I, Glamour Ellen said, well, I need to go back and get rid of all the people that are really not following me. Well, I've tried that too, and that isn't working either. So if anyone wants to leave that comment, I tried it. Yeah, so if you have any suggestions that you have, you know, um, situations where you've actually had a problem and you figure out how to solve it, it would be greatly appreciated if you could share that knowledge with us. Um, I'm new. My mom doesn't you know, know a lot of you know this kind of stuff and um, you know I work a full-time job I'm doing all of this and then to have to go and try to research all of this it's just I'm I'm very limited so if somebody could tell me that'd be great because there's so many videos out there that sometimes it doesn't even make sense what they're saying they say they're gonna tell you how to fix this problem and then they start talking about something else and it's like I don't have time to waste you know on giving me all this nonsense stuff, I need the answer of how to fix the problem. So if you happen to have the answer, I greatly appreciate and it. And make us a video, for, because we're both visual learners, and, and put it in the video, but just make it really simple, like for dummies, because we're not, we're not really good. And I told Debbie that I've had people make videos for me when it's something I really, really feel like I need to do. There's quite a few things I do need to learn to do. But I'm like her. I'm working full time. I have a lot of pressure on me on different things. I got a husband that's sick. And it's really hard to do what we need to do. And you, you know we put up a lot of content, right? Mm -hmm. I'm overwhelmed with content. <laughs> so uh, I have no trouble thinking of something to put up. My only problem is finding the time. Now, I don't know for sure if it's going to happen because I'm right now in the middle of fighting with my employer. I am probably not going to be working after May or sooner. Who knows? They could get mad and fire me because I'm arguing. Uh, but anyway, I probably will be. I probably will stop at the end of May because if they don't go with the program, I'm going to have to go on my own program and just stop working. She thinks it's funny. No, but, I'm glad because she's too old to be working and she needs to enjoy her life. Well, and this you know makes her happy, and so let her do what she wants to do. I'm not going to have a lot of money when I stop working to, to buy new stuff. But at the thrift store. <laughs> well, it's not just even that. Even the thrift store might be a little bit hard on, on a $500 a week to live, and that's paying bills and food. But I have a whole garage and a whole house full of stuff. Yeah, she just needs to go through it, catalog no, it, and know where things are. And, you know, what's the whole thing that you always say? You want to repurpose you know, the items that you I do. have. And, and, and I you have a lot. So. And I, I do have a lot. And I repurpose and stuff. And another thing, I probably will start having maybe a yard sale maybe maybe every four or five months. Because then I, that money I can buy a few new things. And uh, already I have a large box of bows I need to get rid of. <laughs> and that large box of bows will go for be, go into a savings account and be reused for the next five dollars. We, we did get, what was it? The Michael's $5 box sale, right? Yeah, and I, I don't know how many bows, 30-something packages of bows that we do not need. So yeah, so But I don't think you're going to make a whole lot of money on a package of bows. Well, even if I get 50 cents, Deb, at 30-something, 30, at 30 that's still money. True. And we'll see. I'm sure we have more than just bows to sell in this yard. So. <laughs> well, I, have, I need to go through what I really actually own and just start cleaning stuff up because and getting rid of things that you don't really well care I mean, to have there's a lot i've gotten where when i first started i bought a lot of inexpensive things because i even back then i didn't have a lot of money but now i've decided uh we've been buying pretty high quality stuff for at least a little over a year and i really rather just buy it doesn't have to be brand new nice stuff but i'd rather spend my money on nicer stuff than just dollar tree 
I'm not saying I can't find nice things at Dollar Tree. I have found some beautiful things there. But I don't want to waste all my... I mean, I can go to Dollar Tree and spend $30, $40. I could go to Home Goods and maybe get six nice items for that. I'd rather go to, I'd rather go to Home Goods. Yeah. You just have to... Um, I mean, there's, there's things at Dollar Tree that, yeah, they look cheap, but sometimes you can elevate them to look a little nicer. But then, you know, sometimes it's nice to have... The well, home good stuff, and then change that. I mean, add that to the yeah. design. And the good thing is, I have lots of things you can repurpose for next year that I already have. Well, there's my... a lot of stuff that I purchased as uh, to do projects, and we haven't had a chance. So I'm gonna say we have plenty of stuff to do for this next year. For this next year, yeah. And hopefully, maybe by next year, uh, I have been monetized. I am earning a little money, but it's such a ridiculous amount of small money that uh, it's going to probably be another year or two before I ever even see anything to worry about. Uh, because you do have to pay taxes on the money. And um, I'm spending more than I'm, I'm bringing in, so I'm not even worried about that. Well, anyway, let's so, finish talking about the new channel. Yes, yeah, so um, I did just two other things. Um, we talked about we were wanting to get, you know, um, 100 views on each video so that we can start moving... You know, I think I'm going to start.